Welcome to session four, the update service and checks. You process DBSs on the update service initially in the same way as other checks, as I will shortly demonstrate, and they appear in your checks to be started in exactly the same way when the renewal is due in checks to be started. You can see the fact the person has been noted on the update service by a little circular icon as shown below. You'll see this both in the checks to be started screen and also on your My People. Things to note. The update service does a check according to the level of check initially applied for. So it's important that the certificate number you have is sufficient to cover the DBS required for all the person's roles. If in doubt, ask to see the original certificate. The certificate is registered by the applicant and they alone will know whether they are or are not on the service, which is only free for volunteers. Currently 13 pound fee per year otherwise. If you do not get a match when you do a check on the government website, you will need to untick the update service box in their record and process as a new check. So as before, we go to checks to be started and we'll have a look at Alice who is on the update service according to this record. You initialize a check in the same way. You've got the level of check that we're expecting to apply, which is enhanced child and that is what you need to check to make sure that certificate actually covers that level of check. And you notice we've got the person's date of birth, as well as obviously the surname, which is what you'll need. Now to process this, you simply click the log on to the CRB service. You put in the organization, so the diocese. your name here. Continue. All you need to complete this check is the certificate number, the applicant's surname and the date of birth. You can do this by doing split screen or going back to the original record and we copy that number. So like that. The date of birth and the surname. and date of birth. I was using a facility in Windows there called Clipboard Memory, but you can obviously do this separately as well in the normal way, cut and paste. If you're not aware of the Clipboard history that's available to switch on on, on Windows 10, I recommend it. So to do this check, all we have to do is to go continue, confirm the legal declaration and press continue here. Obviously, I am doing this for someone who doesn't exist with a non-existent record. So this would come up as a check that does not succeed. But that's basically the process. But if you were going through this and as a result did not actually come back, it was an unknown certificate number, then although the record has been advised as being on the update service, I found on the record there are a number of people on the database that are registered on the update service who believe that filling in a form with the diocese actually put them on the update service, which was never correct because this is something that the individual does directly with the government website and you will only know about it if they let you know. Assuming this completes successfully, you can then complete this, enter the level check And simply copy that certificate there and add the date here that you actually did the check. 
If the certificate number is not recognized, then what you would have to do is untick the update service up here and then do it exactly as I showed you in session three. So assuming that this has actually been fine, I can complete it by saving the record there like that. It removes it from your checks to be started and in historic checks you can see that check has now been done. To add or remove somebody from the update service, all you have to do is go to My People, and we can see Jim's record has now come back in. Um, incidentally, you see there's no start date here. What you would normally do is um, add the date of the certificate in order to confirm that role. This could be the date of the certificate or another date as, as you choose. So in order to add this person's record onto the um, update service, we click the I here, view the address and edit. Now initially the update service, you can see there's no box here to add a tick. And the reason for that is we actually require the date of birth of Jim in order to to add this. So we will add a date here and save. Now if you go back in, you'll see that actually the box is there. And by ticking that and saving, back to your My People, you can see he's on the update service. Correspondingly, if, if you've made a mistake or if you were processing a DBS like Alice's one, and you found that they weren't on the update service, it's important to go back to the record and remove this tick. And you do it in exactly the same way. Take the tick off there, save. And the icon is removed. So that's how you either add or remove the update service from a person's record. And that is processing something on the update service. Thank you. I hope you found this short video helpful. And please do check out the others in this series. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel so you're notified the next time the diocese uploads a new video. Take care and God bless.